Some chow. All right, so we're doing a pretty popular video right now. We're gonna call this why you should move to Saigon. I already did one of these videos about a year ago. It's my most popular video to date. So we're gonna cover one year later. What do I think one year later? Do I think the move was a great idea? Is everything working out? Am I happy? Okay. So on the last one, since so many people have viewed it, they asked not to see my face and just see more Saigon. So first thing we'll get into cost. So I, I was from California, Venice. I had an IT business on the west side. People were trying to give me shit about how much my rent was. My actual rent was 3,400 USD. And by the time I was gonna move, they wanted to raise it to 3,900. So, yes, I had an apartment on the beach, but the price difference was literally a couple hundred dollars to go interior Venice. Or even anywhere. Like, say if I chose Koreatown, an apartment was like 32, 3,400. It was at the height of, of LA renting. So, I was just wasting all my money on that. And then other people said, well, you didn't need a car either. Well, you gotta have a car in LA. And I, I had a cheap car, I had a Fiat. So I mean, haters gonna hate, but I'm just addressing a lot of the comments. So it's been much better here. I, I love it here. One year later, I'm gonna stay here for at least three more years. Who knows how much longer, maybe indefinitely. I love the people here still. They're just as nice as when I got here. I have a Fiat girlfriend, you've probably seen her on my other videos when we get along great we have a nice apartment now we're probably gonna move to save some rent we got this apartment when money was still coming in pre-covid from my IT business back in California and I'm gonna reiterate stuff from the first video other people were like it's, it's cheap to travel on a plane anywhere from any other country no it's not no it's not if you live in Seoul or Japan it's just as expensive as flying in America to other countries it's very cheap to fly from Vietnam to any of those countries. And you can do it on a whim. So, people that were trying to hate and say, oh, it's cheap from any country but USA. USA is just expensive for flight. You don't know what you're talking about, dude. So, yeah. Anyways, it's really good here. So like, let's talk about the price of things. So like, I know a lot of people, this is why this video I did a year ago is getting a lot of hits now because they're stuck in COVID. They're stuck in America, they're behind on their bills, and they're like, I wanna go somewhere new. My greatest advice to anyone is go travel, go do something new. You don't have to move to Vietnam. This isn't like a move to Vietnam, neither was the first one. It's to move to wherever you want. Europe, I don't care where. Any place where you're gonna be more happy and not play the rat race of America, and you've researched it and been there and know that you'll like it. Because that's all America really is. And it's, this is my opinions too. You don't have to like them. But <clears throat> America, unless you're living in like, you know, a cheap state, it's a rat race, it's a debt race. They try to get your debt to climb up. It's a live by paycheck by paycheck, unless you make a great deal of money and are really good with your finances. It's a lot easier here to, to get away with paying bills when you don't have money. Because your like total monthly bills are maybe gonna be a thousand, twelve hundred bucks. And that's if you're going ham. So like, let's talk about prices. So you can get an apartment as cheap as, say, depending on the district. I mean, if you're gonna, you're gonna wanna live in D1, in my opinion, the first year. I don't care what anyone says. Other people are like, I live in D7, it's super cheap, or I live here, and it's like 30 minutes away from here. And if you're gonna get a job here teaching, it's most likely gonna be in district one. So it doesn't make a lot of sense not to live in D1. But you can get a really small studio that's pretty nice and modern, anywhere from four to 500, more on the $500 scale, even with the COVID. Prices dropped a lot during COVID, but now they've, they've just gone back to where they're at. So you can get a small apartment for four to $500. And then your utilities are gonna be about $100 on top of that. And then if you're gonna park somewhere, if the, the place don't have parking, it might be 200, 300K, which is $12 a month. Or you can rent a place like I do, which is $1,000, and it has a lot of stuff I needed. I have a nice motorcycle, so I needed underground parking that's guarded so no one steals it. Theft is like the biggest crime here. It's got pools, I, I swim every day for, to keep in shape. It's got gyms in each building, which is nice. 
So I mean, it's anywhere from four hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on how high you want to go. You could potentially get away with living here off of, I would say, twelve hundred dollars a month, or even twelve thousand dollars a year. So I mean, people are asking me how much money they should save before they move here. I didn't have much when I got here. I think two thousand dollars, and that did me fine. I mean, if you can get to like five or ten thousand dollars before you move here, that's probably ideal. So it's really about the price, it's about the people, it's about access to doing things, which Saigon has a lot of access to go do stuff. Uh, they have modern stuff too, like look at this mall, you got Zara, you got H&M. So it's on the cusp of like in the next five years, it'll be more expensive. But right now, you know, if you want to bug out, go somewhere cheap after you can travel after COVID, Vietnam's just a great choice, man. The people are great. Uh, for the most part, I've never had any real issues here. I had my cell phone stolen early on, but that was because I was drunkenly walking across the street holding it up high in my hands. Other than that, I haven't had too many issues. Uh, I had my card taken once and charged a bunch of money, and it was through my Viet Bank, and they didn't, they didn't do shit about it. They didn't care. They like, call the police. I'm like, you know the police don't do anything here. So, other than that, there's, I mean, let me think of other things. We covered the rent, you know, you could pay $500 a month for a nice studio if you're by yourself. And then if you're gonna party a lot, expect to spend $200 to $500 on partying per month. If you're not a big partier and you're just gonna buy food and groceries and like be a teacher and work, you know, you're talking $100, $200 on top of your rent for a monthly expense, which isn't bad at all. So, like I said, I was tired of people Everyone's out for everyone in America. I don't care what anybody says. That's just really how it is. Just in California, I can't tell you about anywhere else because I was living in LA. And you know, friends that you thought you're, were your friends aren't your friends. You know, everyone just tries to figure out how to fuck everyone else over, essentially. So I'm super happy here a year later. I plan to stay much longer. I think it's a great place to be. If you don't like the bustle of a city, you might like Da Nang, which is a chiller city, or Hanoi, a chiller city. I like the weather here. I like it hot. I don't mind that it's like 80, 90 year round. We're in the rainy season now, so that's why we're shooting in the rain now. I had really no choice today but to shoot in the rain. Hold on, let me clean the lens. Oish, made it worse. <laughs> Oish, still worse. Getting wet parts in my shirt. I might have to get out like an actual thing. Let me do that real quick. Maybe we'll edit this out real quick. We want to make sure the lens looks nice here. We're just wasting time. Okay. All right, now we're good. So yeah, I have a good circle of friends. I had a lot of friends before COVID. A lot of them chose to go home because they thought their homes would be safer. And a lot of them were teachers, so they lost their teaching jobs. So, I have Viet friends. I have my girlfriend, she's Viet. We were just at uh, her family's on Sunday for seven hours. We had a great time. We had food, beer, all that good stuff. I've been uh, streaming on Twitch a lot. IRL live streams for five to six hours at a time. If you wanna see that, you can jump over to my Twitch. It's in the description. But yeah, it's just, you know, you can fly places cheaper. You can get there faster. So if you want to travel Southeast Asia, this is my whole plan to why I moved here. It's the base out of here, and then I could get to Japan in five or six hours. I could get to Hong Kong in two and a half hours. I can get to Seoul in five hours. So I can get a lot of places in a low amount of time and for a very cheap flight. We're talking like $100. So I mean, it's just cheaper to do Southeast Asia based out of Vietnam. And above all else, you should never get complacent and stay in one area. Like, say you're in America and you went to college and you lived in a college town away from home and then you move back to your hometown and you've been there for like 10 years and life's stagnant and you're not happy. The one best thing you can do is go for a change. Just do something different. Move somewhere else. You never know what's going to happen until you move. So, yeah. I'm recommending to everybody since that, that first video is getting so many views, so many people are debating to like move out of America because they've either lost their job or they're furloughed and they're looking for new opportunity. 
And I mean, you've got plenty of opportunity here. There's, there's all kinds of teaching jobs here. And you don't have to get any of your certifications or anything. You can just get a teaching job here. And you can make like 20 to 25 bucks an hour. And then I just explained to you what the cost of living is per month. So I mean, you do the math. You, you, can, you can actually save up here. You can get a savings account full of money here. And actually save money. And then move on to somewhere else after you're here. So that, that's how I really look at it. Lots of people talk shit on that last video, but I don't mind. You know, they call me retarded. I, I was making poor financial decisions in LA. Sure, I, I'm sure I was, but I just wasn't happy there either. So no matter, even if I was making financial poor decisions or not, I wasn't happy. My credit score was shit, so I didn't have a real good choice of apartments. So I did have to take an apartment like a couple hundred dollars more expensive because they didn't check my credit. It was an old couple that, that owned it. So, you know, you do what you do when you don't have much choices. I had a great car for eight years too. I had an Evo 10, the motor blew. I didn't have a garage to replace the motor and I wasn't gonna pay somebody. So yeah, I was forced to buy a brand new car because I didn't have a $10,000 in the savings to go and buy another car. Yes, these are probably mistakes I made, but since I've been here, life has been much better. You know, we're short, a bit short on cash now because my company's furloughed in California, but we still are able to make the bills get past every month without like a bunch of stress and worrying about it because it's such a little bit of amount compared to America. So to go over it again, the people here are amazing. The food here is great. The food here is affordable. The housing here is affordable. The travel is affordable to anywhere else in Southeast Asia. It's a fun city to, to traverse. The people are nice. I can't say enough about how, mu how much I like Vietnam. And you're gonna see a lot more traveling from me. Me and Wynn are gonna to go to another island, I believe, this weekend. I'll be going to Da Nang in the future weeks once I get paid. So, yeah. You're gonna see a lot more content coming out of my channel. I'm hammering down. YouTube's finally showing me. I've, I had a million and a half impressions this month alone. I had 1,200 new subscribers in less than 15 days. And the momentum's still growing for that. So, and it's a partly thanks to that first video. So I felt that it was time to do a follow-up on that first video. So, I did. All right, guys, I can't think of any more information to add. We're in Japantown right now. I live by Japantown. Absolutely delicious Japanese food. So we're gonna call it that. I wanna just, just be a full-on information vlog, like, where we just talked about exactly what the topic of it is. And I'm not recommending that you actually move to Vietnam. You can move to anywhere. You know, Japan and Korea both pay a pretty hefty rate for teaching as well. And in Japan, you can get like a room share as cheap as 400 to 500 bucks a month. Same in Seoul. So I mean, any three of those places. I, I like Thailand, but I wouldn't move there. But if you like Thailand, you've been there. Also the same kind of pricing scale as Vietnam. Same with Cambodia. Maybe even a little cheaper at those two. So yeah, it's just food for thought. Like, don't think you're stuck in one spot. Don't think you have to stay in America. Don't think you have to play the rat race. And don't think that you have to continuously be depressed about paying bills all the time. That's, that's all I can tell you. You know, a, a cell phone cost out here for a data plan, you're talking $4 a month for like five GBs a day. I mean, come on now. Everything's just cheaper. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me continuously. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the new Patreons. Thank you to everyone. I appreciate you guys a lot. So, we'll see you on the next vlog. I'll shoot some food stuff tomorrow and we'll up it. So, see you on the next one guys. Stay frosty, peace out.